This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Osama bin Laden's former driver was sentenced to five and a half years in prison for supporting terrorism. Why are the prosecutors angry? And is anyone looking for Osama bin Laden? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. With less than six months remaining before leaving the White House, the Bush administration, desperate to show it had made inroads into Osama bin Laden's terrorist network, has decided to take a gamble by trying Salim Hamdan. Hamdan, however, was nothing more than a chauffeur paid to drive Osama bin Laden. A military jury has sentenced OBL's former driver to five and a half years in prison for supporting terrorism. Hamdan will be eligible for release in less than six months if the U.S. government does not decide to hold him indefinitely as an enemy combatant. Prosecutors had earlier called for Hamdan to serve at least 30 years in jail for providing support to Al-Qaeda. At the time of his arrest, Osama bin Laden's driver was clearly a highly prized intelligence asset who possessed invaluable information about the movements and perhaps the whereabouts of bin Laden and other senior Al-Qaeda members. He made a serious offer to collaborate in helping to track down his former boss, but instead he was held for almost six years in order to become the opening act for what has become an embarrassment for the military prosecutors. One more example of many inexplicable actions we've been witnessing as a result of the Guantanamo Bay prison. Take for instance the case of Al Jazeera's cameraman Sami Al Hajj, another enemy combatant who just a few months ago was abruptly released to his native country of Sudan after having been imprisoned for six years without being charged or given a trial. No explanations or apologies were given. We also recently witnessed a 16 years old Canadian prisoner weeping in an interrogation video, the first public look at such interviews taking place at the U.S. prison camp at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. His lawyers accused the United States military of mistreatment of a minor. In another bizarre action, we learned during Hamdan's trial that Hamdan's boss, Abdullah Tabarak, the man in charge of bin Laden's security detail, including bodyguards and drivers, was released from Guantanamo and sent home to Morocco in 2004. However, Hamdan the driver was not. Go figure. Meanwhile, seven years after the September 11th attacks on America, bin Laden remains as elusive as ever. According to Pakistani media, there have been reports of bin Laden at various points in Pakistan's border region, some of them placing him in North Waziristan, where the Pakistani Taliban is the de facto government. Perhaps these are just reports, or maybe President Bush has forgotten his promise to find and apprehend bin Laden, dead or alive, or perhaps he thinks a driver for bin Laden would suffice. I'm Jamal Dajani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mosaic. I'm Amy Goodman, host of Democracy Now! Here to ask you for support for Mosaic, world news from the Middle East. You know, in media news, a new study shows that corporate news coverage of the Iraq war has dropped sharply in the last four months. According to the Project for Excellence in Journalism, the Iraq war accounted for just 15 percent of news coverage, 19 percent of the network evening newscasts. We need more coverage of the Middle East, not less. We are talking right now about living in a time of war. And it is up to us in a democratic society to decide what to do about that. Mosaic provides information from the Middle East, from countries in the Middle East, from a Middle Eastern perspective. It is invaluable. 
and right now they need $200,000 to continue their work, to continue their coverage, to bring you their fall lineup of this essential program. The number to call to make your pledge is 866-485-8848. That's 866-485-8848. You can also pledge online at linktv.org. Please pledge as much as you can. Information is power. When you have information, you are empowered to do something about it. That's what Mosaic provides. Again, they're trying to raise $200,000. In order to do this, you can be a small or large part of that. Pledge 25, pledge 50, pledge 200, pledge 500. Mosaic needs you. If you've needed Mosaic for information, now they're asking you to help them reach their goal. That number again is 866-485-8848. That's 866-485-8848. Make your pledge, make it now. You can also pledge online at linktv.org. That number is the lifeline for Mosaic, 866-485-8848. Make the call that makes the difference. This is viewer-sponsored media. You are the engine of this program. Mosaic provides a unique perspective from many different countries in the Middle East. Please give your support to independent media, 866-485-8848. And thanks so much. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only US television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.